Hello YouTube, this is Aman Juman from Tedis 365. In this short video tutorial, uh, I'll show you how to how you guys can set up Google Workspace SMTP relay on your Google Cloud VM. In Google Cloud VM, by default, Google block or to file. As a result, you cannot send any mail. In for an example, if you uh, if you host a WordPress or similar CMS in Google VM, in such a such case, uh, some application, some of your application try to send mail through the SMTP uh, PHP mail using PHP mail function. In that case, it didn't work. So in particular case, we have to usually add additional third party mail providers like so uh, so transmail mailgun sendgrid mailjet something like that so now if you have like if you already have google workspace for your domain in such case you can just use that google workspace smtp relay with your vm and this is what today i'm gonna show you guys so let's get started first we're gonna create a vm in create instance and then so I already have in very everything here so I'm gonna give this a name smtp tp6 uh, 365-xyz and then I'm gonna select Singapore I already selected it and so z2 it's up to you now I selected Ubuntu 18.04 for visit this video tutorial and now in firewall group I added HTTP HTTPS because I'm probably gonna use some web application inside there. So this is optional. It doesn't matter with uh, this uh, function. And in here you can security group. You can add your uh, uh, username. I mean as a SSH user so that you can connect from terminal. And in networking section, uh, you can put your IP address so that you can connect the SSH. And also, you can attach port 25, uh, 587, and 465 for sending mail. And uh, and if you like to use or if you like to set up a mail server, complete mail server like send and receive, in such case, you have to open IMAP, IMAP secure. Pop, pop secure so this could be another security group but this is optional this is only if you have, if you like to use a mail server inside the google cloud vm so i'll pro i'll only send mail so i added a security group uh, 25 for visiting port 25 587 465 but this is not actually needed unless i use any kind of mail server so uh, if you don't add any security group that's totally fine so on, I only I need only this one because I need to connect from my computer to the VM. Now in hostname, you should add a hostname in here so for better mail delivery. Otherwise, your mail sometimes might get marked as a spam. So that's why I'm gonna add a hostname like smtp xyz. By the way, when you gonna add a hostname in here. Uh, and you try to deploy the VM, you will see an error notification in here that you have to verify the domain in Google Webmaster. So first you have to, you can open the link from there, then you can verify your domain like create a Google verification record and then you can retry and the VM will be deployed. So since I already have done that, that's okay. And the whole part so far now I, I have been talking about, you guys can skip it if you use any other providers like AWS, uh, IBM, or DigitalOcean, AppCloud, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is only, I'm just explaining because it's because of Google Cloud. So, and then in here, you can actually add a static IP if you want. And you can also add PRT, uh, PTR records, which I'm going to add because to ensure better mail delivery, SMTP. XYZ done. Then I'll hit create. So VM will be ready by two minutes, and it will give you an external IP address. 
meantime we will need the extra mark it is to list it in our google watch space so i'm going to copy the ip address by the way you is recommended you should put the external ip address i mean you should create a as a a, a records in your java in your domain dns like i'm going to create a record as in tv here i'm going to put this ip address so this is uh, recommended but actually this is optional for my case because i'm not going to host a mail server in here i'm only going to send mail but i still created this record because to ensure the better mail delivery i don't want my mail marked as spam so once uh, this is done i'm going to copy the ip address now i'll go back to go to the google administrator i mean admin.google.com and then you're gonna i mean this is uh, our google workspace and i'm at the administrator here so i'm gonna click on the apps and click on the gmail then we're gonna click on routing and now in SMTP relay service, I'm gonna. Okay, I already created one. So I'm going to delete this one. So I'll create a fresh one. So here in SMTP relay, I'm gonna configure a relay for my domain. So configure. So now let's give this name Google Relay. And here is the importance important message here like allow sender so if you select only register app and users in my domain in such case it means like if you have any domain or username registered under your domain name only that user able to send mail for for my case i'm using mn at directdigital.com so i can send mail if i select this one but let's just say xyz at directdigital.com so this is a non-existent user, so that user cannot send me. So if I select this option, but I recommend to select this one, only address in my domains. So which means, let's just say I have only one user in Google Workspace Administrator, which is let's just say Aman at brandigital.com. So if I connect a relay and I can send mail from anything before dragdigital.com. So I can send uh, xyz at directdigital.com if I select this one, or I can select sub support at directdigital.com using the domain. So that's why I select this one. But I don't suggest use any address because your mail is not going to send unless your domain is verified in your Google Workspace console. So now, how authentic for authentication? You have two options. You can select. Uh, you can whitelist your IP address and the whole server can send me using the SMTP relay so you don't need any kinds of authentication only IP authentication so this one is for only IP authentication and if you select the SMTP authentication in that case you can provide username and password so I'm gonna select the IP authentication because I, I like to send mail from the server don't like to use any kinds of particular user so now in IP address section I'm gonna add the IP address let's just say so I'm gonna put the IP address and slash 32. You can put the range. So this is single IP, so it's slash 32 to save. And you can put required TLS inscription if you would like to have uh, secure mail communication. So I'm, I'm gonna definitely use that. So save. So now it's ready. Now let's go to our VM and we're gonna connect our VM. Copy the VM. So I'm gonna do this. So let's connect our VM. So I'm inside VM, I'm gonna solo SEO and get So I'm gonna have to update now. I already created a script or command. It's not a script, it's a command. So these are the commands I put in here so that you guys can just copy everything 
and copy paste in a text file and then you just have to replace the these uh, variables like domain name host name. so i'm gonna i'm gonna replace with my domain name so that i can use it so i skip that part because it's gonna take two or two minutes so i'm gonna set up the host record host name so host name host name is done now i'm gonna create a host record host file actually in host file i'll add this one so this is your domain name fqdn actually your fqdn and fqdn initial part is, is space initial part and from that save then now i'm going to install send mail modules and mail utilities so this is the command you probably have to press y to install all of them so it's going to take 30 seconds all right so it's a install let's clear the screen now in here so this is make mail directory if it's not exist. So if you have a clean mails, uh, clean Ubuntu server, you usually have mail directory. So unless you don't have mail directory, you will have to create the do this one. So I can tag etc mail. I can see there are mail directory is there, so I don't need to create one. So I'm gonna skip that part. Now this is authentication file. I have to create an authentication file. So as I for my case I don't need actually authentication file, but if you like to set up a uh, user authentication a particular username, you can set up the authentication like this one. And you can just uh, you can just put the, this command, I mean this line in here, and you have to replace the username and password. Since I'm not using this one, so I will skip that. No. Now, then you have to see more permission seven seven hundred, and then you have to uh, generate the hash file. So I'm not gonna I'm I'm gonna skip this four step because actually I I'm not using um, user authentication system. I'm gonna using IP authentication. So this is important part if you if you skip that. So now I'm gonna back up the send mail configuration file using this command. So it's uh, created a backup dot backup file. Then I'll edit the configuration file of send mail. Then enter. Then I'll scroll down to the end. Then right above the default mail setup, I'm gonna press enter. Then I'll copy paste all of these two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this seven line. Okay. There's the seven line. You can leave it in space. Now control X, Y, enter. Save. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna see more the permission triple six and the CF file as well. So these four commands done. Now we're gonna restart the send mail ng. Alright. So we restarted our server. I mean send mail server. Now we're gonna perform mail test. So I open the mail tester. So here you can see your mail score from your server how it's uh, doing i'm gonna copy paste this user and i i'm gonna test to send uh, i'm gonna send test mail so this is the command so here you can set the username you like to send mail from so i put it here xyz at writedigital.com then the email address that you like to send me so i put this in here now here you have to type the mail so I'm gonna send from this one test. So I'm gonna literally copy 
this line and paste it here, press enter, then control V. So if everything is okay, it will say the mail accepted for delivery. So which means Google Accept really uh, took my I mean all of our configuration is correct and Google Accept really accepted the mail for delivery. Now we're gonna check the score. So we got 10 out of 10. Like you can see the notification right here. So if I check the source, like the sent from as you can see from looking at our host I wanna buy choose so this is how you can set up your uh, set up your Google Workspace SMTP relay on your Google Cloud server. So this is not just Google Cloud Cloud server. Uh, you can actually use it in, uh, in AWS, IBM so software, Azure, anything where the email service is logged. And if you set up a WordPress site in here your mail function will be functional so you don't need to add any kind of third party plugin like google sorry wp smtp or affiliate or something like that because this thing setting up these things is pretty much complicated uh, but yeah, yeah some people found it easier to set up these things on plugin however uh this is needed for some people who use uh customized php application or any other application that uh, you all like to call the system to send mail so if you like the video, please thumbs up in our video and if you have any question, you can put your comments in our comment section and I'll put the uh, screen, uh, common link common link in video description so you don't need to ask. And thanks again for watching this video.